Well guys, save file is corrupted. I tried to replay and I was reading that it might be the battery. Of course it's Pokemon Crystal, the original one, so of course batteries are supposed to die, but I when I got this one it wasn't even that long ago and they said the battery's fine. Anyway, so I tried a new game. They said maybe it was because I wiggled the game when it was saving or something, so I did a new game, saved it, quit, tried to start again, and save files corrupted. So it's probably the battery. Looks like I won't be playing Pokemon Crystal. Probably not Pokemon Silver or Gold either, because it's probably hard to find one with a decent battery. So until then, I guess I'll play a little bit of Pokemon Stadium 2, and then jump into probably Pokemon Ruby. And then just skip skip the second generation mostly. Pokemon Stadium 2 kind of counts as the second generation. So, um, well, let's do some Gym Leader Castle instead of just regular Stadium, because Gym Leader Castle is kind of like Gold, Silver, and Crystal, right? Start with Faulkner. Can't use those. I registered some Pokemon from red and yellow, I think. Yeah, I think those ones were from yellow, these ones were from red. Of course, Generation 1 and Generation 2 was quite a step, so I'm not sure how well it's going to be. Let's go with maybe... Let's go with these guys. Violet Gym Battle, Trainer 1. I like to do a um, gold cosplay sometime after I do my red cosplays. Of course, start out with Thunders. And yeah, I'm gonna do Candy Dig. I know he's ground type, but he has some rock type moves, so shut up. And maybe Big Daddy, I guess. We bring you this battle live from the gym leader castle. Did I rename Big Daddy to Big Papa? I remember. Thunders! Spear Ash? What else? Wow, Super effective, of course. And one shot kill! Expected it. Well, um, I kind of wanted to talk about the team I was probably going to use for, um, what do you call it? Pokemon Crystal? Because I wanted to use mostly second generation Pokemon for the new game since I used... Well, of course, I used first generation Pokemon for the first generation. But, um, so... Let's just talk about what I was thinking about using. So, of course, I started out with um, Cyndaquil and he would have eventually gotten to Deflosion. But then I was thinking maybe I should have went with Fur Alligator, you know, Totodile Fur Alligator. And, um... Well, because... There's like so many HMs for water type moves, you know, the Surf, Whirlpool, Waterfall, stuff like that. They didn't have Dive yet, but yeah. And um, and I also wanted to do a water type Pokemon because I wanted to do Hound Hour and Hound Doom, which is Dark and Fire, and another second generation Pokemon. And I couldn't really trade any Pokemon, you know, to evolve. So I was kind of ruling out Pokemon like, um... What is that called? Slowking and Steelix and um, Gengar. Well, Gengar and Alexam are first generation. But yeah. God dang it, freaking use Endure. Um, and then, of course, I wanted like a flying type Pokemon to use fly and all that stuff like that. So I was actually thinking Steelix instead of like Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, and Fearow, and Dodrio, and stuff like that. And of course, um, what's his name? Why did I just automatically forget his name already? Damn, Steel Flying type Pokemon. How did the name just pop out of my head like that? Wait a minute, I think I said Steelix, which is why I forgot the name, or why I didn't actually think of the name. I was thinking of Skarmory, you know, Steel Flying Bird and everything like that. So yeah, I was thinking of adding him or her to my team, because of course there's genders in second generation. And, um, and... I usually would have chose Umbreon, but I kind of wanted just to, to fly through Crystal, and of course you don't really need um, super tough, sturdy Pokemon 
to go just through the computer people usually well if you go to like the battle tower and um, maybe the round two of the elite four and stuff like that then you might need super tough Pokemon but so I was gonna go with um, Espeon instead of Umbreon and then that'd be my psychic type Pokemon and Espeon's a really great Pokemon too but I usually prefer Umbreon but then if I went up would have went with Houndoom then I wouldn't need a dark type Pokemon but of course you know he has the defenses and everything but then Skarmor Skarmory has the defenses so yeah and but if I did go with Typhlosion I probably would have gotten Quagsire it's water ground I actually when I was first playing gold and silver I was just blown away that they had water ground Pokemon because you know if I chose any water Pokemon they would always get annihilated by electric type and I was like oh I got a counter now it's water and ground and they can't touch me with electric type moves but of course it's quadruple weak to grass type moves but yeah and um if I was able to trade I probably would have add, added Kingdra to my team because I always thought Kingdra was pretty tough and pretty cool Pokemon but you have to trade to get it get that but also in Pokemon Crystal you get that Dratini with, with extreme speed so that could be an option I guess but then again you get it so late in the game and then you have to level it up to 55 for it to evolve into Dragonite so maybe not but Lantern's another good option water and electric but then if I would have went with Fur Alligator I probably wouldn't need a, another water type I was thinking maybe for electric go with um what is that weird looking Pokemon that barely got a Mega Evolution introduced in Generation 2? I'm trying to look it up. Oh yeah, and Scizor. That's another great Pokemon, but you need it to you need a trade to evolve it. And I probably would have went with Heracross instead of Scizor. Um let's see what else. Yeah, and Bell Awesome. That was another great Pokemon when I first was playing it I was like oh the first well f first good pure grass type because of course Tangela was pure grass type but it wasn't a very good Pokemon and um let me see and Pharos that was the Pokemon I was thinking of weird looking electric type Pokemon that barely got a mega evolution recently generations generation six another interesting Pokemon back when I was first playing Gold and Silver was Mischievous first pure ghost type Pokemon and it really like it wasn't it only like the fourth ghost type Pokemon ever because there's only Ghastly Hunter and Gengar and then there were Ghost Poison and then we had Mischievous but um I don't know were there any other ghost type Pokemon that were introduced in generation 2? then Hitmontop was always pretty interesting to me because then they added that pre-evolution and everything even though um, Hitmonlee is I think it's you know just better than Hitmontop and Hitmonchan but it was a new fighting type and I was like hey that seems kind of cool let's see I don't think there's any other ghost type Pokemon I were introduced in generation 2 but since I can't play crystal I'll probably go through heart gold or no, I, I don't have soul silver anymore but yeah just through heart gold then I beat Faulkner just like that I mean come on can't keep up with me <laughs> but um yeah I'll probably play through heart gold um, cuz I wasn't really planning on planning on playing it cuz I want to go through all the generations but since I was gonna play crystal I was probably like no nah, I'm not I won't play heart gold but since I just finished that gym battle I'm gonna cut off the video right there and if you want to hear the rest of my conversation over the team that I was planning and everything like that and click over to the next video whenever I upload it and you can see me playing against Bugsy.